By now, we've heard and seen videos of ChatGPT solving Excel problems in a breeze. Normally, we have to go to the OpenAI website to ask a question to ChatGPT, then copy and paste the answer into Excel. What if I told you that you can bring ChatGPT directly inside Excel? Allow me to demonstrate. I'll select the B5 cell and ask this question to ChatGPT. Here I'm telling it to generate a sample dataset with employee name, location, product sold, and sales figure. I'll press enter, then I'll select the B5 cell and click this button. We get a message that says that our output has been generated successfully. I'll click the OK button and voila, we can see that we have a dataset in our output worksheet. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishraq Kader and in today's video, we'll be discussing how to bring the magic of ChatGPT inside Excel. So let's get started. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up ChatGPT inside Excel and take your productivity to the next level. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Let's begin with a step-by-step -step guide on bringing ChatGPT into Excel. Before we begin, a big shout out to Sven from Coding is Fun YouTube channel. His video has been an inspiration for us. So thank you, Sven. First, we need the OpenAI API key. So go to the OpenAI website. The link to the website is given in the description box below. Here, you'll have to create an account or log in to your existing account. Once the account has been created, you will land on this page. OpenAI will grant you some free credit that is valid for the first three months. After that, you will have to pay for their service. Next, I'll click on the menu button and select Login. This redirects me to a new tab. Here, I'll select API. I'll click on Personal, then select the View API Keys option. It is important not to share the API key with others. In my case, I will show my API key, but by the time you'll watch this video, this key will no longer be valid. I'll click the Create New Secret Key button and copy my API key in my clipboard because we'll get back to it in a moment. Afterward, I'll jump back to Excel. Back in Excel, I'll have to go to the Developer tab if the Developer tab is already visible, then you can skip this step. To enable the Developer tab, right-click on any of the tabs in the ribbon, go to Customize the ribbon. This opens the Excel Options dialog box. Here, I'll check the Developer option and click on OK. Now the Developer tab is visible. Click on Developer tab, then click on Record Macro. You will have to store the macro in a personal macro workbook and click on OK. Now we can stop recording the macro. I'll click the Visual Basic Editor. You can also use the Alt plus F11 shortcut keys. In the Visual Basic Editor, I'll click the Personal.xlsb section, go to Modules, and double click on Module 1. Inside the Module window, we can see some sample code. I'll select the code and press Delete to remove them. Next, I'll paste my VBA code you can copy the VBA code from the description box below and paste it in the Module 1 window. At the top of the VBA code, I'll paste my API key. Now let me briefly explain how this code works. This VBA macro checks for a valid API key. Once the API key has been validated, it extracts the user's input prompt and sends the request to OpenAI. Next, the program creates a new worksheet named Output and returns the answer to this worksheet. So overall, this VBA script automates the process of asking a question to ChatGPT and displaying the results in an Excel worksheet. Afterward, I'll jump back to Excel by clicking on this button, right-click on any of the tabs, choose Customize the ribbon. Here, I'll select Quick Access Toolbar. In this drop-down, I'll choose Macros. I'll select the macro that I saved as a personal XLSB file. You can find it here. I'll click the Add button to add the macro in the Quick Access Toolbar. You can also modify its icon by clicking the Modify button. Here, I'll choose this icon and click on OK. Again, click on OK. 
and we can see that our personal Excel SB macro has been added to the quick access toolbar. Lastly, when closing the Excel workbook, click on save to save all the changes and ensure that the VBA macro is available in all the Excel files. That's it, we've integrated ChatGPT into Excel. Now, let's test a few prompts and observe the results. For our first scenario, we want to calculate the age from date of birth. Let's see if ChatGPT can help us with a formula. So I'll jump to the Ask ChatGPT worksheet. In the B5 cell, I'll paste my prompt. Here, I'm asking ChatGPT to write an Excel formula which calculates the age from date of birth in column C. Press Enter. Now I'll select the B5 cell and click this icon in the Quick Access toolbar. We get a message that our request has been processed successfully. So I'll click OK in the output worksheet. I can see that ChatGPT has returned us a formula. So I'll copy the formula and head back to the age from DOB worksheet. Back in the worksheet, I'll go to the D5 cell and paste my formula. Here I need to make a small adjustment. Instead of C2, I'll have to write C5. Press Enter. Use the fill handle tool to copy the formula into the cells below. Phenomenal! We've obtained the employee ages. Next, I have a large text about quantum computers that I want to summarize in five points. Let's ask ChatGPT for help. I'll head back to Ask ChatGPT worksheet. In the B5 cell, I'll paste my query. Press Enter. Here, I'm asking ChatGPT to summarize the following text into five bullet points. So, I'll click this icon in the Quick Access toolbar and wait for ChatGPT's response. Finally, we get a message that our request has been processed successfully. So, I'll click OK. Check this out. The AI model summarized the entire text into five bullet points. I'll copy these points and head back to Summarizing Text Worksheet. In the B14 cell, I'll paste them. I can disable the wrap text option, and here we have a perfect summary. Suppose I have a dataset where I want to capitalize the first letter of each word. Doing this manually will take ages, so let's use AI to automate this boring task. I'll head back to the Ask ChatGPT worksheet. Here in the B5 cell, I'll paste my query. I'm asking ChatGPT to write me a VBA code that will capitalize the first letter of each word in my dataset, which is in the B5 to C10 range. Press Enter. Then I'll select the B5 cell and click this button in the Quick Access toolbar. Finally, we get a confirmation message that ChatGPT has processed our request successfully. I'll click the OK button to go to the output worksheet. Here, I'll copy the VBA code press Ctrl C to copy it and go back to the capitalize first letter worksheet. Since I want to apply this macro only to this worksheet, so I'll right click and go to view code. If you want, you can also apply this macro to the entire workbook, then you'll have to click the insert tab and insert a module. This will also insert a similar window where you can paste the VBA code. For now, I'll paste the VBA code here and click the run button. I'll click this button to go back to my spreadsheet. This is great. The first letter of all the words has been capitalized. Next, I want to analyze this business data. I have the same data in a PDF file. We can see the business data for M2 Corporation. Here, I want to know the top performing and underperforming categories by each year. So I'll select the data from the PDF, press Ctrl C to copy it, and go back to Excel. Back in Excel, I'll go to the Ask ChatGPT worksheet. In the B5 cell, I'll paste my query. Press Enter. Here I'm asking ChatGPT to analyze the sales data for the M2 Corporation and mention the top performing and underperforming categories by each year. I'll click this button in the Quick Access toolbar. We get a confirmation that our result has been returned in the output worksheet. I'll click OK. In the output worksheet, we can see that ChatGPT has categorized the top performers and the underperformers. So I'll select them, press Ctrl C to copy. I'll head back to Analysis Business Data Worksheet. In the results, I'll paste this. Disable the wrap text option. 
and we can see that accessories and clothing are the top performing categories while electronics and food are the underperforming categories. Lastly, I have an unsorted list of book names and prices that I want to sort using a VBA macro. So I'll go back to Ask ChatGPT Worksheet. In the B5 cell, I'll paste my query. Here, I'm asking ChatGPT to write a VBA code that will sort all the books and their prices accordingly. So I'll select the B5 cell and click the button in the Quick Access toolbar. Finally, we get a message that ChatGPT has given us an answer in the output worksheet. So I'll click OK to jump to the output worksheet. We can see that ChatGPT has given us a VBA macro. So I'll select the macro and press Ctrl C to copy it. Now I'll head back to the sorting data worksheet. Since I want to paste this macro in this worksheet, so I'll right click, go to view code. This opens the VBA editor. I'll paste the copied macro inside this window. Next, I'll click the run button. You can also use the F5 key to execute the macro. Now let's head back to the spreadsheet. Brilliant, that's just what I wanted. Our data has been sorted correctly. When running the OpenAI API, you may run into these issues. In this section, I'll discuss the possible solutions to these problems. The 401 error message indicates an incorrect API key. Here are the solutions to this problem. Double check for any extra spaces or characters when copying and pasting your API key. This is important to prevent the key from being considered invalid. Secondly, confirm your OpenAI API plan. Make sure that your plan is active and hasn't expired. The 429 error message indicates exceeding of current quota. Follow these steps to solve the problem. First, monitor your OpenAI API usage. Check whether you've surpassed your assigned quota. Second, check your billing information. In case you've utilized all your complimentary credits, then you'll have to purchase additional credits to avail the service. Here are a few tips and tricks when using the program. Make sure to provide clear and specific prompts to ChatGPT. This will increase your chances of getting accurate results. You may also experiment with different prompts. Second, break down complex questions into smaller and simpler parts. This helps ChatGPT better understand the context and address each component. Lastly, verify and cross-check the results from ChatGPT against reliable sources. Though ChatGPT is a powerful language model, it's important to ensure the accuracy of the provided information. In this tutorial, I have shown you five examples of using ChatGPT inside Excel. Hopefully, this video inspires you and provides you a glimpse of the possibilities of artificial intelligence. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye.